saved the baby. He's definitely the good guy. You listen and do exactly what the fuck I tell you to do or this ends real bad. Do you see that desk behind you? Put your fancy fucking suitcase on that desk. Not until I see my son. Uh, he's definitely the good guy. He saved that baby. From this terrible family. And it's just a doll. You're not crying. <laughs> He's not crying. Is it? Is it him? Charlie. Christ. The fuck? That looked weird. First second, I wasn't even sure. Was that supposed to be a dead kid, or was that actually a doll? <laughs> the Pappen Son Department Store. The largest mercantile establishment in Mitchellfield is arousing itself noisy. That's his job he's setting sail. Hey, come on. Mm, he's tailing that guy, huh? <laughs> That's probably the easiest case of his life, following that guy. It's impossible to lose him. <laughs> Fucking horse kicking him in the ass. How do you not find that hilarious? Excuse me, Perry, I think that's illegal. Man, that image stays with you for the rest of your life. <laughs> Easiest case of your life. Because it's impossible for this guy to follow you. Did that say Teddy Mason? Who's Teddy? He used to have a family. Hmm. Was Teddy a son? Did someone send a birthday gift? Mm. Yeah, get up. Get up. Just put that thing out of his misery. Good girl. It's your hay. When's the last time you fed it? It's more bones than flesh. What do you want, E.B.? Herman Baggerly called me last night. Who's Herman Baggerly? Major player, Boyle. Lumber, real estate, one of the fattest bank accounts in the city. What's he doing with you, then? <laughs> I haven't seen you in three months, E.B. This is a live one. 3 p.m., wear your good suit. This is my good suit. <laughs> Do you have more than one, actually? What did we say? Um, 200? That was for pictures of Chubby Carmichael. These happen to be pictures of um, Belma Fuller. 500 seems fair. Don't be ridiculous. Fine, make it six. That's serious. You got some mm -hmm. fucking nerve. Nerve and these nasty, nasty pictures of your up-and-coming starlet. <laughs> you got a kid, right? Yeah, lives with his mom. Well, you spent Christmas with him, right? No. Well, how come? Are you, uh, lonely or something, Virgil? Oh, wait. Did they return that gift to him? Did he send it to his son? How's this? Well, I like it better than the suit. <laughs> Do you have a spare suit somewhere in there, too, maybe? Far less amusing is the dishonorable end to your military career. That has nothing to do with this trial. A blue discharge for conduct unbecoming. Would you care to elaborate on that? Feel free to jump in, Frank. Uh, objection, <laughs> question of relevance. You're goddamn right! <laughs> now we know why he will become a lawyer. I don't trust the Los Angeles Police Department to do the job that's needed. So you found this upstairs. I told you my wife did. I was at work. Why didn't either one of you call the police? Read the note. You can't read, can't you? <laughs> so I guess these guys are the LAPD, huh? Yeah? 
she has something to do with this. It's clear as day. Why are you taking a picture of her backside? How ironic that this case has to do with a lost child, just like he lost a child. Not dead though, but still out of reach. Do you have children, Mr. Perry? It's Mason. Perry's my first name. I have a son, Theodore. Teddy. How old? Nine in February. Perfect. First case solved. <laughs> Someone stood over Charlie and stitched those eyes. Yeah, it's a dark tunnel. Long, long, deep, dark tunnel. Maybe it was some kind of ritual. <laughs> oh, dude, you're about to fall. <laughs> Please try to get out of there, dude. I'll give you 6,000 for this zump. <laughs> 6,000. You know, I'm working this one. Yeah? Yeah. It's a big case. 6,500. <laughs> <laughs> the benefits of working a big case. 500 extra. Looking for something? Fellas, if I uh, interrupted some sort of tender moment, I sincerely apologize. <laughs> We got him on a B&E, let's run him in, torch his lights. Get the fuck off me! Settle down! Ease up, goddammit! The green Phaeton goes tearing a pale street, clip the trolley. You think that's our kidnapper? Where'd you get this Phaeton shit? Traffic cop working the bottom of the flight. He didn't think anything of it at the time, because most cops are stupid. <laughs> I already got the entire city standing on my neck, so you enjoy the view while you're up here with the real police. Because I'm gonna nail Dawson. And when I do, you're back on the bottom. Feed enough runaways and cheers. Why are you so convinced that it was the father? Reminds you of someone, dude, huh? Someone who used to be that small? Nine years ago? can he actually do with that little piece? I have a good idea what he could do with that nowadays, but in the 30s? You're gonna call her Red Miss Velma Fuller. Mm. And without pie in her crotch? I hardly recognized her without it. No champagne tonight. Just the cash, Walt. Okay, let's get you paid. It's a trap. They're going to beat you up. We said 200. 600 is fair, because I can get that from the tattler easy. Let me tell you how I see it. People are desperate out there, Mason. They're starving, scared, hopeless. Why is he burning his gun? Does he want to burn him? Just press that against his skin? It's not about the price. It's the principle. 200. Like we agreed. Minus 199 for all the bullshit. <coughs> you need to decide what kind of person you want to be. I want to be a blackmailer. <laughs> <sighs> At least you didn't get beat up, dude. Bright side. None of this was part of the plan. So jump off a pier and swim to Tahiti. I'll take your share. My share of what? Wait, what the fuck? The father is involved? Evening, gentlemen. Sorry I'm late. Bunch of drunk shambles. What the fuck? This guy's involved too. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? How big is this thing? What mm. the fuck? You're dead, dude. Daddy's still alive. He made the car. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's going to die 
No matter what, there's no need for this. Daddy's escaping right now, dude. Fucking moron. <laughs> that was... Pretty damn stupid. Dealing with the guy who's bleeding to death instead of the guy who just got shot in his shoulder. I'm afraid there's only one way off of this roof, dude. Hmm. And he has found the way. He's already in bed. Well then wake him up. I'm his I'm his father. I get to talk to my son on New Year's Eve. New Year's Day. Put him on the fucking phone, Lynn! You have issues, dude. Oh There is a black angel out there. Big, big black angel. With long fingers. The black angel with long fingers? What's he talking about? Has he made a discovery? Do you like turtles? Excuse me? <laughs> I just assume he didn't have an idea. He was just remembering all the facts, yeah? Anyway, looks good. Really solid in every department. Can't really say anything negative about it. If there's anything negative to say about it, then maybe that some elements look rather familiar, like the troubled investigator. We've seen that character many times before. Or even the end scene there, gathering all the clues while loud music's playing. Many episodes of many different shows have ended like that, but that's not really a problem. <laughs>